Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so outfit check, y'all. T-shirt, pants, lab coat. Lab coat from Smockers, I love it. Okay, I love it, it's long, it's good quality, it's got a zipper, it's got deep pockets, nice collar. You can zip it up, look nice and professional, have it open, either way, and then just shoes. Um, so this morning I woke up y'all at 643. <laughs> I so I went to sleep. I was trying to get everything done. Y'all remember my to-do list, my pile? Well, this is my new to-do list for this week, but I, I try to get as much done as I possibly can so that way that this week I'm not crazy stressed like I was last week. And my to-do pile and my folder, y'all remember all the stickies? Look, less stickies. Actually, the, this one is a lot like the lesson planning. But look, I only have this much stickies. Y'all remember how crazy it looked? Okay, my, it's getting smaller, okay? The bulk of it is just lesson planning and it's just a bunch of like papers that I need to do the module sheets on. Anyway, so, um, I tried to get all that done plus do all the social media stuff. Uh, I didn't get to post on Instagram yesterday but I did get to do Saturday so that was good enough I did a lot um, and then um, I try to do the YouTube videos like preset them up for the week I did like a week and a half worth so I wouldn't have to like it takes so much time to edit and then load and, uh, and it's just it's a lot and so I tried to do that yesterday so I wouldn't have to worry about all of that and try to get as much done as I could to have a less stressful week and I went to sleep it was like almost two in the morning and so this morning I guess I was just tired and <clears throat> at the five o'clock alarm and then the 5 15 I didn't hear them or I heard them and I cut them off I dreamt that I would that I had COVID I took a test the lady was the nurse was swabbing my nose like really in there but I didn't feel anything and that I tested negative positive so I didn't know what I was, but I was both. And then they wouldn't let me see my son. And I guess I was like so lost in the dream that I just didn't want to wake up. And finally I heard the alarm. I felt my husband move around on the bed because he had to wake up too. <clears throat> so then that's when I looked at the clock and I was like, 6.43, what? So then I like jumped out of bed. I don't even know if I brushed my teeth this morning to be completely honest with you. I like threw on whatever I could find in the closet and then out the, to grab my bags and out the door I came. I made it on time still, but it was, I was late. I usually like to get here between 5.30 and 6.30 so I have like enough time to get through the traffic and get here and clock in and get my stuff ready and I have, you know, anyway. <clears throat> so it's that kind of, so then my hair, needless to say, was insane. Um, I feel crappy. I don't really have much makeup on. Good thing that we have these, cause you know, uh, they kind of hide some stuff. But anyway, anyway, I was uh, glad that I've gotten a lot done. Um, and then the things that I like to do, the new to dos on my list, I was I went ahead and got things done. So today we are doing <coughs> brow lamination, like for real, for real. And so let me show you my setup. So I have here, um, I just need to hook it up on the wall here, but I got my camera, I've got my handout. We did soap brows, so I'm gonna have them do a quick two songs, writing notes down. Then I have the steps for a particular brand. We're gonna kinda go with that. I have the supplies laid out. Then I have three class periods. So I have my other two supplies there for my next classes. And I've got my product here, and I've got extra um, supplies there for students that don't have their kit yet or did not bring it. Then I went ahead and in their uh, bin back here, I'm going to give a student, Ms. Martinez has left these behind, so I'm going to come use them. Each student is going to get a folder, and then the current uh, packet for the week is going to go in the folder, and the folder with their name on it is going to go in the bin. <clears throat> so that way they don't have to go to the binder every day because that is not working out. There's just too many kids, too many binders, too much moon around. It takes too long, and I don't have that kind of time. So green group, yellow group, blue group, and then that's fifth period. Sixth period will be orange and uh, red, and then this is uh, seventh period, the darker color. So anyway, 
in each one of these uh, containers. I went ahead and sorted, so I have 12 students in this class. So I put 12 of all the supplies that they're gonna need, plus their new henna packet that I revamped. And so that's in there, plus their brow packets are in here. So um, one person per table is gonna come here, grab each a supply for each of their table um, partners. And then <clears throat> when everybody comes in, there's not like everybody running around trying to get supplies. So that is what I have. I'm gonna kind of fill this out here with what I need to do. And then I went ahead and printed, and I'm gonna get nine, gonna get too close, but I went ahead and printed student pictures because a lot of them don't have them in their permits yet. I need to hang these little guys here. I need to get that done. I just need to find the tape for that. I can't find it. And then I got TDLR module sheet information we've got to cover sometime this week. I have the kit pack so they can see that. And then I just printed some permits that I need to give out to students. So that is what I have. So the hands-on lab right now is uh, the browse for freshmen. So that's what these supplies are next week when we, or this week when we start doing the anatomy and physiology for the sophomores, which I need to also edit that. I will go ahead and uh, make sure that I have those supplies and those products. So I think we're going to do a clay model of the hand, um, which I did this one in Hawaii, which was really cool. And, um, had the template of the, <laughs> I'll do the roll. had the template of the hand, um, and then it was the face, and it was like the decollete area, and I think it was the foot. So the, the students had to take the clay and make the muscles uh, of that particular body part according to what course they were taking and then they painted it and that turned out really good so it was like a two-day thing because one they had to make it you know make the muscles and lay it over this diagram and two um, they had to uh, the next day wait for it to dry and then paint it so we're going to be doing that this week and we're only going to be doing one foot and one hand and probably the top of either one or maybe the bottom I'm not sure but <clears throat> that's what I have for today and I'm gonna let you go because it's 11 14 I've got to catch up on some emails um, make sure I have everything and just run through the lab for today the practical hands-on part of the brow lamination and then catch up on some messages that have also been coming in and then I'd like to fix my um, grade book because I don't love the way it is. So I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna fix it. And then I think, I think, I think I'm going to create myself because I just had it on the clipboard, but then I hate that this bends like, like that. I hate it. So I think I'm just gonna make me one of these, like a little spiral, you know, and then I just have all my sheets here. Hello, make yourself a journal. Why not? So I'm gonna work on that. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but definitely going to work on that. Okay, so that's what I have for today. I will also be posting the brow lamination video um, on here so that I can put it on Schoology so students can have that and it's readily available for them to watch whenever they need to, especially because we might have some that are absent. Okay. All right, so that's what I have. If I find something else, I will come back and share it with you guys. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one. Hey guys, okay, let me pop, I wanted to pop back on and tell you. So, I have done, I'm gonna fold my students' names here, but I had done this um, spreadsheet I created last year with the pandemic and kind of been modifying as I went along. I printed this in color, but the color didn't come out because I have like the color color coded to help me like stay on track or whatnot. I have the one that goes behind the planner, but it was, it's too busy for me. It's too many lines and my eyes are like cross-eyed. Plus I have to write in their names. Um, don't necessarily love to do that. I don't like my handwriting, so I like it just, and it's a TDLR document that if I get audited, I've got to submit. So I wanted something a little bit more like professional looking. So I've been taking attendance on like paper sheets, rosters and stuff that we had had, um, just according to like the first freshman first day was one roster and then the first day of school was a second roster and then the third day was a different roster that I printed with pictures. And I just kind of like been going through all of them 
the thing is I could not find the actual spreadsheet I had seen one on Skyward and then students are changing up until last Friday and I hope they're done with them but I, I think up until Friday they were doing schedule changes so I had a couple of students move around so for the first new teachers for the first first month of school pretty much don't make your fancy rosters because they will change they always change and then in January they'll change again um, as students get schedule changes and such in January when you come back so I used to like make my perfect little rosters with a little you know picture and everything and put my like title and on it and everything it would title anyway and um, I would get so angry when I would have to scratch out a student and then like have to write their name on the bottom because it was so tacky to me I was just and it just out of order and so anyway I've learned to like let go of that <clears throat> and be a little bit more fluid y'all I was choking on a gummy bear not fun okay and it wasn't even a gummy bear it was one of those snake gummy bears that have like one snake but two heads and so like it's a Y shape I almost died y'all okay <clears throat> so my throat like super burns right now because I was like anyway I'm alive um okay so sorry I get free candy um at least that's what my mom would say um okay so I have had this I just had put it on my clipboard I didn't love it um hate that it's all wrinkly it doesn't look professional if a sub comes there's like I don't understand it um and so I love this because again let me do and I don't have one from last year but like I had color coded this way and then I added an extra line so one line was for attendance one line was for grade the last year's attendance was like are they present here are they present virtual are they absent are they and so that's why I had so many lines and then I would put in the dates on the top and then I had these spaces where I put the day like what we did that day right so it was a lot easier because I could see for example this student she was absent and so she turned her business card in today so she gets no points off because she was absent she has one day to make it up now the student that was absent on the 25th and was supposed to turn something in and didn't turn it in until the 27th and and they they were only absent that one day <clears throat> they shouldn't turn it in the next day so they get that point off because it was late five points off because it was late that one extra day so I had made last night, I took the time to make a new roster and this was a roster. I finally found it on Skyward, how to print them out. And I liked it because it was big. And then I put my, what I like my grades, what I was gonna put here. I made it just for grades, but and it's a student name and student number back here. But I don't like the, I like it because it's the six weeks is right here. So all the grades for all students in this class period for the whole six weeks is right here. But I don't like it because attendance isn't on here. So how do I have to go back to my attendance chart to see, do they get five points off? How many days it was late? When were they absent? When? It's a lot of paper. So I was like, scratch this. Literally, it just went in the trash. So I just kept coming back to this one. So I was trying to fix it and I couldn't because of all the lines. And I said, you know what, just make a new one. So five minutes before they come, they're almost here. A five minute alarm. Five minutes before a class starts and then five minutes before a class is over. So I don't wanna fold this one, but y'all look. Student ID and number and then the rectangle, these at the top here are for the dates. And then here I'm gonna put the assignments or what we're doing for that particular day, what we covered. Okay, so Miss, I was up on Monday. Oh, what do we do Monday? Uh, having to go my binder having to go look on school G no it's right here Monday we did XYZ perfect you were absent Monday and Tuesday we did this we did that make that was a grade that wasn't a grade da, da, da. it's like in one paper it's on one paper one document and so then color coding it so it's a lot easier so I can find the student I did gray but gray didn't work out yellow meh, hard to look at so the very lightest I looked for other colors and pink and the one of the lighter colors that worked out pretty pretty good and then it's I go by three weeks so this one page it's got student but one page is six weeks I'm sorry three weeks so this is Monday through Friday Monday through Friday Monday through Friday on Fridays I made a darker border so that way when they have to turn in their task card or the end of that marks the end of the week and then this is a three week 
grayed. So then next week I will print another one, or the next three weeks I'll print another one. So every six weeks I have two of these. So now I'm going to transfer everything that I have had previously onto these new sheets. I need to make the other ones because I need to like customize it for that one class. Uh, but anyway, I'm super excited about this. So much better, so much easier. I'm sure there's like other tools that I could use that are probably already pre-done, but sometimes you just need something that works for you to take all the information from everywhere you learn and then just do, do one that works for you. Do what, what feels good with the flow of your, your class, your, your, your session, your attendance, your grades, your all of that, what works for you. Okay, that's what I wanted to share. All right, kids are coming in. See you later.